to another One Monroe Minute. Today, we're going to be taking a look at how gas springs work. A gas spring consists of six different parts. These include the cylinder, which is a sealed tube that houses the compressed gas and oil, the piston rod, the piston itself, as well as the compressed gas, oil, and seals. Gas springs operate based on the principles of gas compression. The cylinder is filled with nitrogen gas under pressure. Nitrogen is used because it's inert and it doesn't react with other materials. The piston rod moves into or out of the cylinder, compressing or expanding the gas. The compressed gas acts like a spring, exerting a force on the piston rod. Damping oil slows the piston movement, providing a controlled motion to prevent abrupt movements. The force exerted by a gas spring is proportional to the gas pressure and the cross-sectional area of the piston rod. When the rod is pushed into the cylinder, the volume of gas decreases, increasing the pressure and resistance. The oil inside the gas spring moves throughout small holes in the piston as the rod moves, ensuring smooth and controlled motion. Gas springs are utilized in a variety of applications for their ergonomic, maintenance-free usage. They're commonly found in car hoods and trunks, office chairs, medical operating tables, and industrial lifting machines. To learn more about gas springs, be sure to reach out to one of our sales engineers. Thanks for watching this week's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos in the future, and we'll see you next time with another One Monroe Minute.